Who are you? Who the... Why are you following me? Are you the reason they're searching passengers? Okay, you know, I have a theory about action heroes in the movies these days and why Tom Cruise, who's in his 50s, and Denzel Washington and Liam Neeson, who are well into their 60s, are doing most of the regular, real people action hero roles. It's because all the millennials are too busy getting their pecs and their abs going and putting on tights and flying in the superhero movies. So we need Denzel and we need Liam and even Tom Cruise to play more of the regular, everyman action heroes. In The Commuter, Liam Neeson is once again kind of a regular guy. He's an insurance salesman, but guess what? He used to be a cop. Now he's on a train. He's just trying to make it home to his wife and his son, and all hell breaks loose on the train because that's what happens if Liam Neeson goes on vacation or gets on a plane or gets on an elevator or gets on a train. All kinds of crazy stuff is going to happen. For a while, this is actually pretty cool and stylish. The guy who directed this has also directed Neeson in a bunch of other action movies, including uh, Unknown and Nonstop. But then it literally goes off the rails. Someone will have to pull the knuckle bit, and one of us will have to go down and release the latch. No, no freaking way, I'm not going down there. Just outside. I don't care, shut up. Just I'm not outside going down and down, down the ladder. I'll do it. The train goes off the rails, the plot goes off the rails, and it becomes really stupid and silly, even for an escapist January movie. Love Liam Neeson in these roles. But I got to say, I'm giving this one a star and a half, guys. One and a half stars. D plus for the commuter. Don't take a ride with Liam Neeson.